G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is Queen Tested, a video series where I wake up the Scorch Beast Queen with a big old nuke, then attempt to arrest her by subduing her with one particular weapon. Today's weapon is going to be a bloodied prime lever action rifle with bullets exploding for area damage and 90% reduced weight, major and minor legendary effects respectively. So it's not the first time I've actually used this weapon on the channel. I did a weapon video way back on this thing, and it's resurfaced one more time to take the Queen out. Hopefully it'll be a decent show. So I've got a Prime Receiver on this, which actually does the same damage as a Hardened Receiver. So we're not seeing too much in that numbers, but keep in mind that we do get the bonus damage against all things Scorch, which I believe was upgraded to 35% in the recent patches where they changed that. So, you know, 35% tacked onto that is not actually too bad at all. True long barrel and true stock to keep the hip fire accuracy nice and tight if we ever want to use that and also to boost this accuracy stat so that we might hit the uh, Scorch Beast Queen while she's in flight um, a little bit easier. Could have gone with a longer scope to help support that more but I went with a medium scope so it'd still be usable in if I want to scope out enemies that are far away and obviously a suppressor is there to keep this thing um, nice and quiet as we're taking out the Queen so we can achieve the four times multiplied that I usually strive for when I'm doing weapons like this. So the lever action rifle is, I think it is one of the best snipers in the game, but it's not without fault. Obviously this thing here only has the 5 ammo capacity, despite the tube being elongated when you've got a longer barrel there, but we won't think about that. So 5 in the ammo capacity is going to mean you're going to be firing the bullets very fast and emptying a magazine or your tube, and the reload speed is long. Another flaw of not having a magazine um, attachment point here is you can't actually get any auxiliary, I guess. Um, armor penetration benefits out of it like it could with a perforating or a singing mag with, say, the uh, fixer or something. So this weapon is kind of being just, it's kind of like blunt force trauma, I guess. We do get tank killer to um, boost this thing's armor penetration per, um, abilities a little bit, but it's far less than what you'd think this would do. So looking over the uh, perks set up here, because I forgot to do that last time, we're going for a stealth rifleman build set up here. Demolitions expert is there to make our bullets do more damage. Um, tank killer, obviously that's a must, and concentrated fire so we can zero in on the head when we shoot the thing, and that's to um, get guaranteed hits on the face and do more damage through that. Nerd rage is there, obviously we're going to chuck on Mr. Sandman first, Covert Operative second to boost our sneak critical um, damage by that much. So I've found uh, during the fight, um, the extra splash damage added by the legendary effect means that, whoops, that's not even a weapon. This thing can actually deal with all of the little ankle biters, which I've had trouble with with, say, these weapons quite easily. So, you know, bouncing splash damage off that is pretty damn good. Also, um, armor. I didn't show off this last time either, but I've been upgrading. You'll notice that all of my armor pieces, except for the chest, have action point refresh speed on it, which is absolutely awesome. And all of this is also shadowed too, so yay sneakiness. I'm not sure if shadowed actually works on these because, well, if you take the armor off, or the outfit off, you can see that they're still textured in their ways that are you know, urban or forest, so I'm not really sure what's going on there, but a simple retexture should fix that if they ever make the mods for it or allow us to have more support. Anyways, enough of that, let's go shoot the queen. Alright, we're about 15 seconds at this point from having the nuke touch down, so we'll see how we go. I'll be comparing this mostly to the gorse rifle because... Well, the Gorse Rifle was another Rifleman weapon, but I'm thinking this one might do slightly better because I don't have to charge it up prior to shooting it, so, you know, getting my bullets out there and doing full power as soon as I pull the trigger might help me quite a bit. And there's a baby Scorch Beast just to give you an idea of how much damage I'm doing. I saw 2400. Now, Tyr says this is a good spot to stand in. I don't have too much problems sitting here. That was a cheeky little headshot. Alright, so she's out and about. Good start here from me. Not to congratulate myself too much, but are you going to land right at fucking hell? Tear was right. What a legend. Okay, so um, there's a little of radiation, a little bit of radiation happening, and I have lost a lot of health up front from her, which is not good. I'm going to go over here now. Alright, well, what I probably should have done prior to this fight is that and rad shield, but... We'll keep on going. We don't want to particularly lose Nerd Rage. Apparently the Queen's got other things because she just didn't see me at all. So, 
I'm gonna go down there. I think it's a uh, Mylurk Queen. She's gonna Scorchify that, actually. They're all gonna get Scorchified. Well, anyways, whilst you're being distracted on another target, I can easily and cheaply just hit you. That can go away. Alright, Adrenaline should be full at this point, and now is my time to strike. So I've got a bunch of AP regen, as I hopefully remembered to show off. That's a legendary Scorch Beast, so I'm not too worried about the AP usage. Oh, that was Mummy trying to save a baby. Good on you, Mummy. But still. Oh man, Concentrated Fire. You gotta do better than that. Okay, without my sneak attack criticals, it's not going to go well. She's already diseased. Give it up. Don't pick on a sick mother like that. There's a lot of family conflict happening here. Yeah, okay. I think, fortunately for me, um, reloading this thing and firing the one bullet at a time is actually faster than the gorse rifle, I think. And, you know, not having to reload every so often is helpful. So as soon as I get rid of that little miler there... Okay, I got killed. That's alright. Just gotta make sure we get a attention still. Yeah, okay. She's still mad at that crab. So this is just shit behavior. There's nothing I can really do about this except for targeting the creatures that she's targeting, which apparently this one is just invincible. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's he's not going down as easily. I'm probably just plinking the bullets on his shell. That might be why. Okay. Now it, we're in actual go time here and... Luckily for me, I've got the explosive damage to deal with a lot of the little ankle biters that rock up during this. Are you going to land? That would be most helpful. Well, as long as you're getting close, that's some pretty good damage. Any plan where I'm hitting the Scorch Beast Queen for over 5k? There we go. Is... Oh, 5k. 1k is good. 5k would be a little bit too much for this. Okay, she's going to do that. That's annoying. Now, I don't have... What the bloody hell was that? Oh, it was the acid. The piss. So that's okay. So normally I'd chuck on Tormentor just to, you know, bring her down, but I feel like it might be a little bit of a waste of time. Here we go. This is where we can actually get started. She was accurate enough with her last blast of that sonic attack, but now we're really getting somewhere. She's mutated at this point, and another run like that will be doing pretty well. We're getting 1500 with what I assume to be his full adrenaline, but yeah. Probably should have went with a longer scope on this. That glowing wolf just fell through the earth. Nice. The uh, scorched earth, if you will. And now I am under attack from all creatures great and small, so I'm going over here. I'm going over to where she doesn't like to land. Except then she does, because why not, eh? That, so that bloatfly's gotta go, he's really been pissing me off. There you go. Got a cheeky little critical on the Scorch Beast there. I'm hearing lots of insects. And is that a gulper? That might be a gulper. That was a close call with explosive damage. So this is where it's going to start slowing down a little bit. Um, obviously I've got a bunch of things to deal with. Hold it together, Winter. You're right. Everything's fine. Take out that Stingwing. There's a thing over there. That was not a Scorched Mega Sloth. Weird. So everything's kind of... I'm kind of invisible to everything right now, which is good. And that appears to be most of the ads cleared out. Most of the Scorched Cronies. So all my job is now is just to take the Queen. Just to shoot her. She'll have a couple more Cronies spawning in a while, but... We might have hit ourselves with a nice little bit of... Or maybe she doesn't spawn shit in when she's doing that, because if she spawns them in within a certain radius, I can see why that may, might be made problems when she's fucked right... Oi! Don't you dare. You're too stealthy for your own goddamn good. Okay. Luckily for me, she hasn't regenerated and she's found something else to attack. Something else takes her fancy. Something in the nuke zone, which is not helpful. That's kind of unhealthy. There you go. Hopefully, whatever she's found, she got bored of or killed. Unlikely. She's actually kind of useless. If it wasn't for a massive health bar, she wouldn't be that much of a threat. I reckon Swan's a bigger threat than this fucking stupid flying bus of a creature. 
So basically, now we want to get spotted. So she does. So she, you know, changes up her attitude and does something a little bit different than this fucking boring ice crop duster attack. You heard me, Queen. And the creatures have spawned back in, including a Milurk Queen, which I just. Wow, what is it with crabs today? Fuck off. You can die now. I'm being denied my glorious sneak criticals because of this shit. I, okay, I'm gonna have to get out of sprinting here. I'll get sprinting because these bloody crabs. Okay, good news is that she's distracted and still willing to take the criticals? Well, according to the damage, yes. Oop. She might have done it. Yep, there's a fucking mole rat. Take that out. Someone's got a grenade launcher. One of these scorched bastards hit me with that. Come on, 95% chance. And there's a bear. Okay, I'm not having a good time with AI right now. Fortunately, she's landed again. And provided she doesn't get too close. Wow, what is that? What is she doing? I don't care. I'm going to keep on shooting her. Okay, I don't know what this is all about, but I'll accept this behavior, sure. You can die. You can die. Honey beast. Come on, Winter. Faster, faster. Bloody mole rats. I'm so glad I can take them out with explosive damage, because if I couldn't, I would have a problem. So, it's been a little bit of a rough run from these blokes. It's not easy. We don't have the crowd control power of, let's say, a fixer to deal with a lot of these threats easily. So the mag capacity is kind of letting us down here, but that's okay. Having a look at the condition of the thing, we're down to the first health bar of it. Okay, concentrated fire. Producing no rads, apparently. I'll accept this. Just make sure we sidestep that explosive damage, and then we'll be fine. She's doing that thing again. What do you call that? Apparently, I was interrupting her breakdancing class before um, I decided to summon her, which is interesting. But regardless of that, she will have no more time for step aerobics practices or whatever. Oh, yes, I killed her during the crop dusting attack. And let that be a lesson to you, you old, you old bitch, you old Barbara. Now, the, the main quest is staying alive here, so I keep my flux. All right. So I've, I've won the day here, I've succeeded against an enemy of great annoyance, so you know what, I'm pretty happy. That was way off, you've got a long way to go before they can crown you the next Scorch Beast Queen, mate. But uh, yeah, he, there you have it, a little bit of a Queen test with a lever gun. And as expected, it was slow, but whatever, at least I got a 3 star bit of armor for her this time, so th that much is good. Still should have put the long scope on, that's for sure. Although getting these random criticals definitely help. I'm going to get myself out of here. Oh, actually, they stopped. So, obviously, I've had this weapon for quite a while. I've kind of been saving it because I, I still think, despite how it went there, it is the best rifleman weapon in the game. Even though the gorse rifle gets slightly better damage, I feel like we beat the time that the gorse rifle presented. So, there. Yeah. Oh, we also got how much? 20 cents for killing a Deathclaw. Wow, we had no cents for killing a Scorch Beast Queen, though. So, not sure if these things were highly duped or how easy they are to get, but if you'd like one, I don't know, search the market for it. Honestly, nothing's better than the Fixer at this point. That one's going to be a hard act to follow, but it made it through. Don't really have too much else to say. I've made my thoughts known during the process of this. Consider this bat under arrest. Cop winter out. Thank you for watching, guys.